hi in our last session we have seen how we have created how we can create work orders how we can associate related uh, details about the uh, about the account and the details location of the customer for this work order and work order details and uh, price list primary instant type and other details right now in this session we will see how we can book this work order so that the field agent can navigate or can travel to the customer place to install this printer so to do that to book this work order i have already updated the soft status as ready for dispatch now the dispatcher role is to go to the schedule board and search the customer search the resource to schedule now to define a image profile image for a resource first you can go to first let us update a resource image you can see all the resources uh, which are field service resources are available here if you search here let's say i want to search my user right my user name is joel this one joela right now for this user you can see there is no image now how can how can you place a image for this resource you have to go to service and resources first go to resource and open the resource and this is the resource now here you will find there is an option called as so click on this uh, icon user icon and it will open the user record now i can def click on this icon here and upload an image let me upload an image from my system let me search a image let's say this is the image okay and i can click on change now once i will change this the resource picture picture is updated now i can go to this again to the cells and schedule board the schedule board is the place where you can book a resource with work orders right so this kind of you know um, th this is a kind of uh, dashboard that you can use to book your work orders you can see all the on schedule work orders are available below right if you click on this on schedule work orders it will give you the details so this is the first that first work order that i have created today and it will take two hours duration right now to search your resource you can use this panel and in the initial public view you can see all the resources let me search a resource by territory i can define a territory the territory is can canada sorry california then i can search once i will search all the resources which are part of this territory will display here right now like that if i want to search a characteristics by uh, by rating let's say i want to search by html proficient and click on search then it will display all the resource i have already defined this characteristics for this user for this resource now this is searched now i want to book this resource for this work order so what i have to do i will just drag this and drop it here at the timing let's say at 2 am or at uh, 8 am the cost the resource should visit to customer place now i can drop here at the 8 am right and it will span the hour from 8 am to 10 am because the duration is two hours now the work order is scheduled automatically if you mouse over you can see the booking status is scheduled as soon as the status is scheduled for this work order now if the user or the resource or the frontline worker who is the field service agent will open the mobile he can see the booking details here if he click this bookings he can see the booking information here now before that let me click on synchronize click on back click on synchronize now it will try to synchronize everything that are related to server or field service now it is synchronized let me go to bookings now let me define let me search is there any bookings available for me
now you can see here in the booking section you can see in the mobile app the user can see the bookings now he can see the details about the work order in the mobile application right this is the work order number the status is scheduled the start time is 8 am and actually arrival time is not set yet right and the end time is two hours right now the duration is two hours now the field service agent will do the work once he is reached actually arrival time he started from 8 am now he reached at uh, 10 let's say same day and timing is 8 30 it took 30 minutes to reach customer place right now i can define 8 30 now from the 8 30 he starts working right once he started working he can define other details who is the resource you can see this is the booking summary other details address map incidents service task products everything is there right now the uh, the field service agent will do one by one to complete the work order right he just understand what is the booking all about summary he can understand the summary and instruction he can read what is the primary incident type he can define let's say install install printer right now he can also define the uh, primary incident customer assets he can define here taxable or not he can define here so once it is done he can go to other part and define other informations like estimated total total cost is 1200 right now next he can validate the address next he can check the map if it is address is correct or not and he can define he can see what is the incident type right now and the incident type he can define all other informations like service task you can see these are the service tasks that need to be performed by the field service agent and here it will provide which products you can define a product for which product the work is to be done right like that what is the estimation you can define the estimation what is the discount how many amounts how many quantity uh, the customer interested for now i can go back discard changes i don't want to change now next services then he can note something here by clicking some note he can add something and also signature here okay now this signature will be saved now once you saved the signature with note you can define some activities and the booking is available here now he has to change this booking status to work in progress right in the booking he can change the status as in progress now save it as soon as it is synchronized it is saved the status will be updated back to the server right now if i will go to here let us try to synchronize click on synchronize now if i will go to the work order you will see the status is updated as in progress right now in the meantime if you will complete the work order now he can open this booking and open that booking to complete it now if all work is done and it is completed he can update the status as completed and save it again once it is saved he can go back and now it is completed you can go back and synchronize now the status will be synchronized here let me refresh this now the status is open and completed now i will open it and the back back office uh, back office guy will check the signature it is properly updated or not if the uh, signature is captured or not that means validating things that the field service agent is updated now the signature is updated and other details is also updated the price est estimated subtotal is updated right and the status is also updated now i can 
close it by uh, giving other details here let me give a note the work is completed okay now i can deactivate this because it is completed so i can click on this deactivate so this is how work order can be booked and uh, the field service agent can work on mobile device right so so thank you for watching this and uh, there are many things in in uh, field services we will we will continue in other sessions i hope this is the end to end i have told you how it works but sometimes if you want to use uh, like resource management groups but you know time of request time entries there are many things agreements there are some advanced things that you have to do like in in inventory also there are rtvs rms adjustments so these are advanced things i will make you another video for you guys i hope you learn the end to end scenario of field service but sometimes if you want to manage the master data of field service you can go to this resource scheduling and in the resource scheduling you will see there are many things in the settings area in the settings area you can define the roles skills proficiency model you can define here also in uh, field service app if you go here there is a section called as app settings right in the settings you you can define the field service settings accordingly right let's say you want to uh, you want to uh, enable the geo code by default then you have to enable the geo code option av available here you can see that there is option enable booking map for field service you have to define yes right so these are the configurations that you have to do at initial stage so that you do not need to update the configuration for every resource you can also set the auto numbering if you click on this auto numbering you can define what would be the uh, numbering of the work order you can give prefix here let's say double o and click apply then what it will do any work order that will create in the system will prefix with double o right because in this work order you can see by default it is without prefix it's because i have not configured that auto number so it is now showing only a number here but if i will create another work order for example let me use let me quickly create a work order now save and close now once i will save this you can see the work order number will now append with w so this configuration the settings also gives you more flexibility to define a you know application level configurations settings and uh, we will discuss in other details or other advanced uh, concepts of field service now this course covers the end to end session for all basic things in field service application or model driven apps right so thank you guys see you in next time